stoked today because we are on one of my favorite rivers, and that is the National Buffalo River. Oh, it came out of the water and hit. He's on. He's on. He's on. Feels like a nice one. Yeah. It's a nice one. Come on. Oh. Yeah, it's a good one. Well, we got a real slow section, but there's some big rocks here. There should be some smallies on these rocks or some big old large mouths. So we're going to give it a toss. Especially in these big holes, because I'd love to catch a big one on this one. Or even a 12, I don't care at this point. Because I've yet to catch one on the mag draft. Now I've got three. So, definitely get my money's worth. <laughs> oh, fish on. On the mag draft. Oh, he's got another one with him. It's a big one. It's all oh, two of them. Two. Two. Two of them. <laughs> oh, just caught a Mondo on the mag draft. Maybe a 17. <laughs> My first swim bait fish. Well, a big swim bait fish. And it was a smallie. Oh yeah. Like I said, this is the five inch one. Not a massive swim bait, but definitely caught a two pounder with it. <laughs> Very nice. Man, he was not coming off of that one. He got hooked. There we go. Get that undone there. Get the net out of the way. Give him a drink here for a second. This one, maybe 16 and a half, 17. He, he may be pushing 17. I just made a cast for this huge boulder and I uh, just pulled it out and my bait was waking. Uh, and then whoa, slurped it, slurped it. All right, let's see how long this baby is and get him back in the water. All right, let's put this two pounder on the board. Oh, just shy of 16. Almost touching. That's okay. I thought I had a 17, but still a beautiful fish. That was a terrible release. I've caught him on the five inch mag draft. I can't remember what this color is called, but that's it right there. A blow up. Golly. That was a blow up. That was. This dude smoked the plopper. He looks like a 14. Let's drop that anchor real quick. Don't, don't shake. Don't you do it. Okay. Man. GoPro, stop recording. Hopefully, the rear camera caught that explosion. Not a huge guy, but uh, 13. We'll say 13. Beautiful fish. We'll let him go. Nope. Oh, dang it. Screwed that up. Ah, oh, got him. Got that one. Got him. Get off. Get off. He's not too big, but he's barely hooked. Okay. Another one on the 110. Here, I thought I was going to catch Mondos, but this one's 11, 12. We'll say 12. Big explosion, though. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
slipped away just for a second. And he was on there. Oh, in my... Whoop him in here. There we go. Uh, yeah, we've lost our cloud cover, so that's slowed down the topwater bite a little bit. A little time check real quick. Um, it's got to be getting close to noon. Oh my goodness. It is 140. I am way off. <sighs> I don't even want to look at the map, tell you the truth. <laughs> I may, uh, since it slowed down a little bit, uh, focus more on the, you know, fast current uh, with the eddies right behind them. You know, just typical smallmouth fishing areas and kind of paddle these slow areas out, cover some miles. Uh, I don't even think we're halfway yet. Got him. Got him. Not a huge one, but uh, I don't know if it was this one or the a different one, but what I'm just smoked my mag draft. I've been uh, really hammering that today. Had I've had tons of followers on it. This little guy just smoked the fluke, though. Uh, but yeah, I've had so many big ones follow it out. And about the time it gets to my kayak, they're turning, you know. So I've been doing every tactic I can think of to get them a pin, but they're just not committing to it. But still fun, and it also shows you what kind of fish are in here. Still in there. <laughs> Came back for it. The Houdini. Just caught one on the new color. I was like, ah, it's kind of slow midday. Sun's coming out over the head. I just swapped to the Houdini. Making the bass appear in the boat. That's what it's doing. I just literally tied this on. Uh, I worked that mag draft for a good hard hour. Tons of followers, just, uh, they kept either grabbing the tail or just not interested, or they got to my boat and turned. They saw me. So, definitely is bringing out some nice ones. So, I know where those are at now, and I'm like, next time I'm here, when I'm camping or something, I need to drag a jig through there. Oh, there's another one on the Houdini. Well, this one's a little bigger. A little nicer. Houdini getting her done. And the reason I swapped to this is uh, it's got all this. Uh, come here, little guy. Okay. Get him undone here. Uh, the sun is shining and it's got a lot of flake in it and it makes it sparkle in that water in theory. So I want to say it's going to attract some fish. Looks a little more natural too, versus that just straight up white, which has been a problem, obviously. I've been wearing them out on that with Chandler in the last two trips. But it's got some red, some black, and it's a little golden shiner looking bait. Kinda uh, looks like a, a creek chub too, and I know smallmouth love creek chubs, so that's why I tied it on. This spot right here looks amazing. We should catch a couple here, for sure. There's a fish. Oh, oh, this feels like a nice. Oh no, did it come off? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Stay on. On the mag draft. <laughs> I sadly just lost one. I think I saved the clip. I never did see its face. It dogged me, and I don't think I got a good hook set in them. But uh, this one smoked it. It's crazy how you might lose a big one, but these small 14s will eat it no problem. It's just crazy. 
Come on. He wasn't getting off that one. Doesn't learn my mistake. He is chunky though. He's definitely getting close to. He's definitely pounding half at that belly. Woohoo! Let him go. That was fun. But uh, what I'm doing is just kind of working this grass line. That one before that one smoked it as soon as it landed. That's probably why I didn't really get a good hook set. I thought maybe I was hung up or something. And, and then I tried to reel into it, but it just did not penetrate him like I should have. That one, I definitely, I was like, nope, that's a fish. Whoa, bam! I smoked him. Oh, oh, golly. Did I, what the heck? <laughs> I guess I snagged this dude. Oh, there he goes. Just caught another one. As soon as I turn off the camera, this one hit it, and then somehow it snagged on the belly. It might have been what happened to that original one. I just snagged him. Come here, bud. Come here. Oh, he just popped off. Yeah, see, my ring is poking out. I don't know what's happening to it. It is jacked up right now. I'm gonna have to shove that ring back in there. But anyways, uh, that one's probably like a 13, 14 again. Got him, got him. He came up and smoked it. Man, he is dogging me for sure. Probably a 14. Oh. Somewhere in there. If I don't lose them. On the mag draft. It's been fun. I'm not sure if it's worth it, but it's been fun. Oh, he jumped out. My shallow, sad, pathetic Walmart net here. Another nice one. Probably 15. Oh, yeah. Look at that, baby. He's long skinny. He's definitely a 15. He's super long. Hooked him. Hooked him. Hooked him real good, actually. Let him go. We'll uh, put him on real quick, just kind of get a rough estimate. Yeah, 15 and a half. Beautiful fish. All right, we're going in snake infested country here. Got him. Oh, good one. Oh, gosh, that's the biggest of the day. He's in the net. Oh, yeah. Got another stud. This one may. It's like another 16. 15 and a half, 16, somewhere in there. Oh, they fight so hard, you think they're giants. At least I do, I'm not used to catching a real giant like uh, Greg Blanchard and Christine and all them. But, I need to fish more lakes probably for that stuff. Okay, we're gonna drop anchor. This guy, show. He wanted that big old mag draft in his face. All right. all right, let's give him a drink real quick. He's feisty. He's a feisty guy. This one is angry. Very angry. Very angry fish. Okay. Just give me your face, bro. God. Just get a quick measurement, man. Just a quick one. I'm saying 16. Beautiful fish, though. Oh, you see how jerky he is? I think he's ever been caught before. Okay. I don't think he's going to cooperate. Uh, 15. I'll take him though. Very feisty fella. We'll send him back. That way he can go eat a real meal.
Got him. Good one. Oh, another big one. Another nice one. Oh, shoot. Oh. That looked like a 16, 17. Yeah, God. Got him. Little guy. Oh, man. <laughs> He's a giant. Keep him on. Where's the giant? That one had to have been 17. Compared to that, 12. Got him. Got him. Stay on. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Stay on. Stay on. Yeah. Get in the net. Oh. I didn't lose this one. I still wanted to touch that. Woo! Woo! He angry. Hey, calm down. Calm down. I'm going to get you undone here and get you back in the water. He hasn't hooked himself in the net. Look at that. Thick guy. Probably 16, 16 and a half. Let's get a quick measurement on him. I'll spare you the uh, cell phone. Uh, 15 and a half. These 15 and a halves have no issue getting that big swim bait in their mouth. Pudgy guy, getting close to two for sure. Got him, got him. Be a good one. Uh, not a good one. Still smally on the mag draft. There we go. Little, oh, feisty guy. Goes nothing. We're going straight. We're going, uh oh, yeah, we're going it. Too shallow. Ah. That's a new mark. Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh. The rocks look semi smooth. That may help us out there. Okay, the uh, the sun is on the other side of this mountain, getting very low. <laughs> We're still not to the put in. I feel like we have at least two miles left, hopefully less. <sighs> we got this. 13 miles with no flow. Should have known better. Yeah. Get in the net. Oh. Just got me another one. Very long. Probably another 16. <laughs> there was this huge flat rock. And the current was going over it. And I tossed a swim bait right over it. And kind of just fluttered it a little bit. And whoa, bam He slurped it. Very nice one. Okay. Let's get him on the board real quick. Let's see, this one is 15 and a half, actually. Very nice, very nice, feisty fella. Let's let him go. Got him, oh, nice one, nice one. Bam. Got him. <laughs> Whoa, bam. Looks like uh, 13, getting close to 14. <laughs> Still fishing. It's not dark yet. It's not dark yet. Uh, there's a little bit of current swinging by these trees right here, and it was deep. I was like, there's got to be some fish on there. Sure enough, missed a small one, threw back in there, and this guy came and smoked it. All right, he's loose. We're not going to measure him, just save time. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for playing along with my swim bite. Woo! I am feeling the burn. My biceps, lats, shoulders are all shot. Yeah. 
<sighs> but I do know that I have maybe 10 minutes of paddling. I uh, actually just ran into two other kayakers, recreational kayakers, and all they did was put in here and paddle up. So I know I am super close, but uh, hopefully you enjoy this uh, beautiful scenery. Awesome fishing. It's definitely one of my highlight trips for sure. Am I exhausted? Absolutely. But was it worth it? Yes, it was worth it. <laughs> I had to think about it. But anyways, um, so the baits I stuck with today, especially the second part of the trip, was that five inch mag draft. I was like, I really just want to upsize some fish. I caught plenty of small fish today. I was like, I really just want to catch some bigger quality fish. And I did. Nothing over 17 today, unfortunately, but I knew if I had a little bit more time or maybe I camped it out and really dissected some of these deeper holes, I might have would have caught a, a new PB or something. I think this stretch does have potential for a new PB. It's just if you have enough time to fish it, that's the key. <laughs> you could definitely do this in three days if you wanted to just as much fishing and all the holes that are here so anyways i know where i'm at i got maybe a quarter of a mile to paddle thank goodness but uh hopefully you enjoyed today's adventure like i said the uh bigger baits sealed the deal for me got me some better quality fish so thanks for watching i hope to see you on the next adventure